I think it's just about time for us to get started with Tier 2, just as soon as I take a look at these costumes that I found along the way. But yeah, let's do a transition and get right into this. Because our first level today is 74th place, Shidey with Wily Tower, an 11.6 overall. Not too bad. We're still not at the point where all of the scores are in double digits for the, uh, to compose the average. Got some Mega Man 10 music right when we teleport in. I believe the graphics are Mega Man 6, Mr. X's uh, tower. That jump there is impossible, if I'm not mistaken, but it's okay if you miss, because that's not a hole beneath us, as I found out on my first run of the level. This is the final stage that I did that is a replay. From here on out, everything else will be first time for me. Unless, of course, something went wrong technically with recording. Sadly, that seemed to be a theme with Tier 2. Eh. But not this one. As you can see here, there's nothing on the ground, so you kind of want to get on the uh, right side there and just make it in to the gate, because once we do, we'll get to the uh, main attraction of this stage. A little weird there with the shutter, but, you know, it's to be expected. A little spike drop into another gate, and guess what? It's boss time. Ah! Uh, <laughs> hey, Volt Man. Eh, long time no see. At least our Mega Buster does a lot of damage on this guy. I do not really care for Mega Man DOS. Nope. It's always funny because I look at him and I'm like, oh yeah, that's Air Man, all right. We just beat you in the last video, so that kind of makes this a little underwhelming. I should have used your weakness in Slash Claw. But that's not the end of the level here. Well, that's where we'll be going a little bit later on. But we've got another gate coming up. Now... On my first run, I legitimately slid right past the 1-Up and into the lava. I didn't think that was lava, and I'm kind of surprised they put that there. Either way, Camuso Man is up next. It's kind of funny that they use the obscure bosses for this level. I, but so far, there's not really been much level to it, has there? Also, I think the Mega Man 10 Wily Machine music is a little bit inappropriate for this fight. It's not that bad. I actually find Kamuso Man a heck of a lot easier than Volt Man to fight, just because Volt Man does so much damage. Oop, a little camera issue there, but not too bad. A lot of Mega Man 6 stuff going on here. Make sure these plant man platforms open up for us. And uh, be very careful with this jump. You gotta jump from the very edge there, and lightly, or you might bonk into that spike thing. It's not instant kill. Once you get up into the gate, well, Quint. I'm not gonna mess around with you, pal. This is the final boss of the level, so let's just uh, finish him off here. Uh-huh. That was Wily Tower, all right. I mean, that was an okay level for what little there was there. Yeah. If the bosses were modified a little bit, it would have been a little better, but because they weren't, I can see why these scores are a little on the low side. It's another one of those levels that was fun, but just not enough of it. Yep, could have been a lot better. Yeah, that's pretty much it there. 
on we uh, go. Oh, hey, Dust Man. <laughs> oh, no. I see that red X next to your icon there, Gariri. 73rd place, Concord Butterfly presents Airflow Hubble. And it is indeed Gariri's least favorite stage. No, Mega Man, come back. Come back, dude. We haven't even started yet. It's okay. It's okay. Just let's go in and take care of this. It can't be that bad, right? Uh, famous last words. Oh, a green teleporter. It's been a while since we've seen one of those. Oh boy. <laughs> yeah. Well, the start of this stage is any indication we are going to be enemy spammed a little bit here. You really should try to use Hornet Chaser on that Apache Joe. It's pretty good for him. And we're going to have to use special weapons to get on up here, whether it be Rush or Wheel Cutter. Oh boy. If that Apache Joe knocks you down, by the way, as I've seen in other videos, you will have the Apache Joe on the left respawn on you. Not very fun, because it has a very quick respawn rate, and also that is a very dangerous slide that I'm surprised worked out for us there. Well, we got a lot of Hubble going on, but I'm not seeing too much airflow, unless we count the uh, wind gimmick from the rain there. Oops. Well, good reaction time there, me. <laughs> well, more Apache Joes. Uh, we aren't going to be seeing too many more of them. They're going to go away a little bit after this. Oh, there's that respawn thing I'm telling you about. This level uh, loves that, by the way. But after that, things start to settle down a bit, and we're going to get ourselves a new gimmick once we get past some more Joes here. Oh boy, it's Gutsman real time. Whoa, 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 that is a dangerous little drop that you will not be ready for your first time. I got lucky there because I was looking ahead. Granted, I took a hit while doing it, but whatever. Yep, nope. well. <sighs> for the record, I want to point this out now. This is the checkpoint room. As I smack my mic. Yeah. <sighs> A lot of enemies in this one. Gotta be a little bit better at uh, placement for myself, as I am getting mega hit in the silliest of ways, like that. <sighs> well, we're low on health right now, and there's one way to uh, heal up that isn't by using an energy tank. I don't remember if I go for it or not. It's it's been two and a half months now since I played this level. I mean, that's great and all, but you, you kind of got to get moving forward there. There we go. No, oh, I didn't think this through. Crud. Well. Back to the checkpoint room. By the way, if I haven't said it yet, that was the only checkpoint room of the level. Keep that in mind as we go along here, especially in that room you just saw. N no, I, I, I kind of wanted Hornet Chaser to go after the Met, but whatever, you know, it's okay. That big guy up there isn't going to hit us again. Since we already cleared this normally, let's just use Rush to get past it a little faster this time and almost mess it up again, but we're okay. Thank goodness. Oh, now, I, the one thing I didn't mention about this part is look at the Guts Rails now. Now you can't really see where they drop, and even worse, they drop a little earlier than you'd think when they go from right to left. It, it's tough to explain, but just watch. You can see where it gets thin, but watch where they drop. Just a one block, well, one square early. 
that makes all the difference in the world, because I was not ready for that. Eventually, you just get tired of this. Also, I don't know why I'm switching off wire. You can shoot while you've got wire equipped, but whatever. You know, I'm going to try to do this part legitimately, but I'll be honest, I'm not sure if you can, at least not without falling down at least once. It is definitely not a fun experience, that room. Ah, here we go. Here's the airflow part of the stage. And to be quite frank, this is my favorite part of the stage. At least when I figure out the gimmick, because I'll be honest, when it comes to Mega Man 6 stuff, I tend to forget how things work. Like, right now I should be trying to jump up into the... Uh, turbine there. But, no, I'm just trying to think, okay, it's gonna work. Nope. Yeah. Okay, yeah. Y you'll figure it out eventually. You're, no, you're not gonna be able to wire. Come on, Bean. Nope, you bonked your head on the ceiling again. You can do this. I know you can do this. Can I do this? Come on, me. You know what to do. There you go! Man, that was embarrassing. Well, don't worry, there'll be other times where I just lose my mind and do some crazy stuff in this playthrough. That's the uh, first mistake made by me. So might as well uh, use Hornet Chaser to help us out here and get stocked back to full. I mean, no reason not to. Like I'm saying, though, if the level is more this stuff, then what we were dealing with at the start, and definitely the guts rail section, I wouldn't mind this one. As it is, I can definitely see why it's Gariri's least favorite. Because again, that one checkpoint room was the only checkpoint room in the level, and that means if you lose to Quint, you have to go all the way back to the midpoint. No thank you, Sakagare time. Get gone. <laughs> I'm going to assume those were victory hops, Mega. That, that's been a while. Judges, what did you got to say about that one? It's definitely a level that starts crazy and then just keeps going on a roller coaster ride of difficulty all the way through. Yeah, the weirdly placed drop lines. At least it wasn't just me that saw that they dropped just a teeny bit early. It was just, you know, a little too much. Even just having the Guts Rails uh, have their normal looking way would have been better. No, there was flow, it was just airflow. That's the thing, I like the airflow, I, I just wasn't much of a fan of the hubble. And just remember, just because it has a higher score doesn't mean it can't still be a least favorite. Because these uh, stages are judged by five categories here. That's a big thing to keep in mind with these Tier 2 stages. Because remember, none of the judges' least favorites were in Tier 1. Well, I would have loved to have made this video a three-stage one, but, uh, th th yeah. Oh, no. Last level had one judge's least favorite. This next one has two. Uh, you. Wait, what? Uh-uh, uh-uh. No. You do not say that, text box. No way. Eh. Oh, man. 
Oh, Zachu Pachi with this next level. I'm just going to say right now, it's definitely going to be a thing. Let's give a preview, Mega Man, by hitting that two key. Yeah.